Hi, this video will be a small guide to design and select right earthing system for your solar plant. Whether it is a rooftop power plant or utility scale power plant, earthing is a crucial component to protect human and equipment and also to divert fall current and surge lightning currents to the earth grid. And earthing is very crucial in minimizing the voltage rise and reduce the electromagnetic interference. Let us understand the types of earthing system in solar power plant. One is equipment earthing. It connects the, all the metallic part of the solar power plant to the earth, such as MMS, inverters, LT panels. All these bodies will be connected to the earth. It ensures the touch safety. Second one is SPD earthing. So ACDB, DCDB will have a DC SPD and AC SPD. Both has to be earthed separately. In case of AC side surges or DC side surges, the surge will go to directly the earth bit. And the third one is lightning protection earthing. In case of lightning strike comes, the lightning arrests will capture the lightning and pass it to the earth bit. So that is lightning protection earthing. What are the key components of solar earthing system? The key components of solar earthing systems are like one is earth pit electrode, earthing minerals, earth conductors, earth pit chambers and other accessories. Few guidelines in designing earthing system for your solar system. One is target of resistance and second is number of earth pits. When it comes to target of resistance, what is the target value of resistance at the equipment level? At the inverter level, you should have less than 5 ohms. At the lightning arrestor level, you should have less than 10 ohms. At ACDB, DCDB and other equipments, you should have less than 5 ohms. Lower the resistance value, better the dissipation of fault current. When it comes to number of earth bit, if you consider 10 kilowatt system with a single inverter, inverter will have one earth bit and ACDB, DCDB will have each one earth thing, so three earth things and body will have one earth thing. So four earth thing is mandate. If you are going for a lightning arrestor, it will have one more earth thing, so five earth thing. Sometimes if current value is more, the lightning arrestor will have one or two more earth bit. So minimum uh, four to six earth bit is mandate for any system. What are the types of earthing system? We have three types of earthing system. One is plate earthing, uh, the second one is pipe earthing, the third one is grid earthing. The plate earthing will be used for a small system. The pipe earthing is normally used for a uh, smaller and uh, higher size system. In the grid earthing will be used in the substation level as well as the, the transformer earthing. And few more factors we have to consider while designing the earthing system. One is the depth of earthing electrode, whether we want to go for 1 meter, 1.5 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter. Now Normally, IS3043 recommends you should go for minimum 2.65 meter. So, it, it is always suggested to go minimum 3 meter length of earthing electrode. One is the soil resistivity. Majority, there are four types of soils. One is wet soil, dry soil, next one is the clay soil and also the rocky soil. There are four varieties. After conducting the soil resistivity test, we will come to know uh, how many earth bit and uh, what is the diameter of the earth bit and what kind of minerals we should put for this soil. So, all this can be uh, concluded only after proper soil testing. The backfill components is decided based on the soil resistivity. Other important points, the distance between the earth bit kept more than two times of the length of the earthing electrode. If you have earthing electrode 3 meters, so 3 into 2, 6 meters. One earth bit to other earth bit, you should keep minimum 6 meters distance. Other point in maintaining the proper earthing system on your solar plant, having the proper testing and verification. You should use the earth resistant tester to verify your earth resistance value of the power plant. It is normally recommended to have a earth resistant testing at the quarterly basis. Avoid and ensure broken conductors and corroded conductors in the earthing system. In case if you find something, kindly replace it or rework on it. Use dint copper terminal lux for proper earthing and proper crimping of cables. Ensure proper tightness in all the part of the earthing system. It has to be checked on quarterly basis. And what is the conductor size to be used for earthing system? When it comes to body earthing and equipment earthing, it is suggested to use 16 square mm copper cable. For lightning earthing, we should use minimum 35 square mm cable. It can go up to 70 square mm cable or copper strips. So, in GSIS, we can able to guide you the proper selection and design of earthing system for your solar power plant. Kindly reach us out for better safety and better protection for your equipment and human life. Thank you.